September is National Suicide Awareness and Prevention Month. So today, I wanted to cover some of the basics surrounding suicide and what you can do to help someone if they are experiencing thoughts about suicide. So first, there are some big stigmas and some big misconceptions surrounding suicide. One of the biggest misconceptions around suicide is that if you ask the question, if you ask someone, hey, are you feeling suicidal? The fear is that you, ca you could put thoughts about suicide in their brain or that they haven't considered that and they may start to consider that suicide could be something that they could start to think about. This is a very big misconception. Asking the question is not going to put thoughts about suicide in someone's head. If the thoughts about suicide are already there, asking the question is something that is going to actually be really helpful. That is the first part of being able to care for and help someone who might be experiencing thoughts about suicide. Now, there are some behaviors or some statements that you might wanna watch out for. If someone starts to express that they're feeling a lot of despair or they are experiencing feelings of hopelessness, those would be some things to pay attention to. Along with that, some phrases that someone who has thoughts about suicide that they might say could be something to the effect of, I wish I could go to sleep and not wake up tomorrow or this is getting too hard. Or even it could be very directly stated such as, I wish that I were not alive or I would like to die. Those would all be statements that could kind of tickle your brain and make you go, huh, I wonder about this. As well, if you notice that someone is getting their affairs in order or giving away money or possessions or maybe there's been a relapse with a substance. All of those things could be factors that are pointing to the fact that someone might be experiencing thoughts about suicide. Other factors to consider. Two of the things that I look for most as a counselor would be if there is a disruption or a break in someone's key relationships and if they are feeling like they are a burden to their family or to society. Those are factors that are often present when thoughts about suicide are being experienced. So now, what can we do to help someone who is having thoughts about suicide? As we mentioned before, one of the best things you can do is not be afraid of asking the question and just directly going for it. I call it the all cards on the table approach. So if you can have the courage to be able to ask directly about it, that is likely to lead to a conversation. And if someone does open up to you that they have thoughts about suicide, one of the best things you can do is just take the time to listen to them. Oftentimes we feel this really strong urgency that something has to be done right now. The fact that they're talking to you about it is a very good sign. So if you can take the time to listen and really hear where they're at, that is one of the best things that you can do. That's also gonna build some trust between you and them and it gives you opportunity to help direct them towards getting more help. So what are some resources that are available is often a question that I'm asked. And it's a great question because we really wanna be aware of such things. So if, it is not an immediate thing, but it's something that we know we need help for. You can always call Crosswinds or another counseling practice and get an appointment set up. That's something that here at Crosswinds, we're very passionate about helping people with those things. And you, know, you can call admissions, we can get you set up and we'll start working through that. As well, if the need is more immediate or we're noticing that we're in crisis, we need to do something right now. You can always call your emergency services, your local services. You can always call 911 and you can always go to your local emergency room. As well, you can always call 988, which is the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. They are very well equipped and will always be ready to help. They are open 24 seven, 365 days a year.